Welcome to Celerity Technology. Today we're going to be looking at a little demonstration and test that I've set up um, to test out my RGB DAC. Um, I currently have an RGB DAC right here and right here. Um, this one is obviously in use right now. Um, I've done a couple of tests uh, mainly with the um, Corsair Lighting O Pro. Um, I've also tested um, my RGB DAC with um, my Gigabyte addressable header um, for my gaming 7Z370 motherboard. And right now I'm testing out this um, uh, Color Master controller right here. This came with um, my H500M case as well as the 200mm RGB fans. As you can tell, I'm not using it in my case, but I thought it'd be a great way to test it. Um, I want to make sure everything works with um, as many different items as I can think. But I mean, generally, if it works here, then and all the other ones I tested it should work elsewhere as well. Um, so right here we have, as I said, the Cooler Master fans and controller, and the controller is actually sending out the signal to control and send out the this uh, RGB signal. My um, RGB DAC is getting. Um, a few of the signals for different channels and converting it from digital to analog and you can see these are actually analog strips right here that's why the color matches everything else you know from this line over is actually addressable right here is this is fully analog so um, as you can see there's a lot of different things you can do with this or I can do with it um, mixing and matching um, different types of RGB LEDs both addressable and um, analog as well as different components for manufacturing all from one board which is something I really didn't think about. The main idea was to be able to control my RGB fittings um, and this kind of I guess screw into more than I thought. Um, so right here we have um, a Corsair RGB strip, we have these Cooler Master um, and we also have a generic 5050 addressable RGB um, um, strip that I just modified a connector to be able to connect into this R this Corsair strip and then I also have my um, uh, my these random generic 5050 analog RGB strips that I've had for the past three years went into my home theater this is the lowest leftover so uh, this right here is the device that isn't currently plugged into anything but these are chainable and as you can see I'm going to plug this in and it can actually feed it off that and if you can can see it can really can't see it from the angle I can so it's able to work however way you want it I have currently have three of these in my PC running my RGB fittings um, so I can control everything with um, IQ which again um, almost kind of a shill for them um, it's a great tool to control RGB especially if you want to do more complex stuff um, a lot of stuff is just out there. It's just way too um, simple. Um, just a few patterns and limited um, customization. So I want something that you know can kind of really turn to an art. Um, so if you have any feel questions, feel free to post comments. Um, if you want to hear more content like this, feel free to subscribe um, and click the bell icon if you want to get notified on a new content. Um, I'm trying to release about one video a week. I mean, I'm kind of busy doing this, um, working full time and I have a kid, so life gets in the way of fun. <laughs> so thank you very much for tuning in. Have a wonderful evening.